Hey everybody, welcome to the program, Chris Raygun here, and today we're going to be talking about the clusterfuck that is YouTube Heroes. Now before we start this video proper, I just want to give a huge standing ovation to YouTube, a huge round of applause for their brave, brave choice in hiring mentally deficient, AIDS-ridden, cross-eyed heroin jockeys to their health department. Truly, truly a progressive move. But now on to the topic at hand. Uh, do you guys remember the, the whole YouTube uh, community guidelines thing where they said uh, controversial content is uh, against terms of service and is actually uh, not advertiser friendly? You remember that little fiasco? Well, I guess they hit a bit of a snag. You see, because YouTube is run by a cavalcade of vacuous cunts, they don't actually have the manpower to accurately enforce those new community guidelines. I mean, sure, their automated system might flag something that's overtly offensive, but what about the undesirables? What about the people who might not have the word NIGGER written in the title or the tags or the description, but who might drop an F-bomb in the video itself? Well, don't worry, folks, because the YouTube help department has you covered. They've got just the solution. Hit it. You know, I'm really glad you think I'm working hard to make this site better for everybody, especially because the only people capable of ruining the site is you guys. You do, you do realize this, right? You are the villain here. Like all heroes, you deserve a place to call home. I really love this coddling language, building up our egos with the word heroes, like we're heroes, we're great defenders. And then saying shit like, we deserve a place to call home. YouTube, we already have homes. That's why we're on YouTube. Because we're not fucking homeless. If you don't have a place to call home, you're probably less concerned with whether or not YouTube is a safe space, and more concerned with how immensely emaciated you've become in recent months. You know, on account of the homelessness. Ooh, we get points? YouTube is making a game of some kind, providing incentives for certain things? Well, golly gee, what do we get points for? Oh, you, you had me going there. For a minute there, I thought things were gonna get sinister. Oh, I see. You want the site to police itself, you pieces of shit. This isn't some kind of metagame for the community. This is, this is a way for you to give everybody a badge and a gun and tell them to go play police. Right, because if there's anything we've learned from things like Harambe and Bodhi McBoatface, it's that when you give the internet power over something, uh, everything turns out peachy keen. Oh, look at how joyous he is as he threatens the livelihoods of those he dislikes. A true role model this guy is. Share your knowledge with others. Excuse me, Monsieur Lapadite, I've received word that you're hiding negative content under the floorboards. Might I check them? Remember, guys, everybody's got Nan Frank, and it's your job to find them. They're literally making this into a fucking game, guys. There's, like, a bunch of different levels. Like, you can level up, and you get different perks based on what level you are, like video calls and some something called the Hero's Dashboard, whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> but what caught my eye in particular was a perk that you get at level 3. What do you get, Alex? Oh, we get to mass flag videos we don't like. Wow! You know that thing that's been plaguing the site for the better part of a decade? You know, the thing that's being constantly abused? The thing that's primarily used to censor and shut other people down? We've made that into a fucking game! It's like Pokemon Go! But instead of catching Pokemon, you're just shutting down channels and content that you don't like because, hey, if I don't like something, it doesn't have the right to exist. I especially love how throughout the video they're just using this really happy-go-lucky animation style along with this really upbeat rock track to make it seem like everything's fun, everything's dandy, everything's uh, we're all having a grand old time, when in reality, it's just to distract from the fact that this is incredibly Orwellian and creepy and thought policey and what the fuck? You know, come to think of it, I think this video is inciting harassment. I mean, it's actively telling people to go and flag videos. I mean, negative content is a pretty vague qualifier, but if something's inciting harassment, I consider that negative. So, what I'm saying is... It wouldn't be against YouTube's community guidelines to go and mass flag this video for bullying. Now I'm not saying, hey audience, go mass flag the video for bullying, you can find it in the description of this video. I'm not saying that, that's, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that guys, I, I wouldn't do that, I, I don't want to be that guy, you know, I don't want to be that guy. You, you, you see what I'm doing in this little box here? 
don't mimic exactly what I'm doing. Don't do what I'm doing in that box right now. Don't follow those instructions to the T at all. And by the way, if by chance that anybody at YouTube sees this video, just know it's not negative content, you piece of shit. I'm just trying to work hard to make YouTube better for everyone. Even if it means people I vehemently disagree with are safe from censorious bullshit like this. And, and also, fuck you, okay? Fuck you. Fuck you.